This is the Boondog on Class X Radio. The word for today is sequester. Heck, you got a debate. Let me see. Uh, Nancy Pelosi told us what a friend of hers, what the Latin meaning of it was. And then Ben Swan last night, he threw down and uh, disputed that. So uh, they're debating what the word. We can't even agree on what the word means. What does sequester mean? I think it has something to do with Miss Delaware, or excuse me, Miss Teen Delaware. We ought to try to get her on the phone for an interview. Has anybody got Miss Teen Delaware's phone number? Give us a call at 859-250-2527. And I feel like being a, let me see, we used to call these tattletales, think, narcs. I just want you to know that there might be some young men in their 20s who might work on this show, who might be looking at the wrong stuff while I am over here delivering radio superbity. I'm not going to tell on them. I'm not going to talk publicly about it. I'm not going to report them to Bill Spry or the FCC or Simon Lease. But I'm just telling you, there's some people that aren't behaving around here. Uh, Today, we're going to answer the question of why, how, when, where, who, what, which, and really everywhere across the country in the tri-state. And we're going to have some fun. Are we going to have, because I understand, Jake, it's in your court. Are we going to have the poster revelation? We should. Sabrina went to pick it up last night and believes she is delivering it this morning. Well, I I saved the... It has been ordered. I saved the 11th song. Uh... For the presentation. So I just want everybody to know that the 11th song in our playlist, ah. don't give it away. Hey, do you think you can hit the right song when I build that song up? <laughs> we'll see. I had a bad day yesterday, didn't I? Just a little bit. Uh, Luckily, I do the firing. In 1692, the Salem Witch Trial began in the colony of Massachusetts. Uh, 1904. TR appointed a seven-man committee to study the Panama Canal. And they looked at it, and they said, hmm, hmm, hmm. And their study was over. They decided to build it. Uh, 1932, the infant son of Charles Lindbergh was kidnapped from Hopewell, New Jersey. I tell you right now, it could have been completely different, the outcome of that, if the ladder, the ladder didn't actually break. Mm Mm-hmm. 1940, Gone with the Wind, won eight Oscars. Frankly, my dear. It's got to be what you all got. Yeah, yeah. You You guys are so pretty. What should I do? What should I do? I don't give a damn. Have you ever said that to a woman? I like that guy. I don't give a damn. Red Butler, baby. He had had finally had enough of her crap. Jeez, old Pete. Uh, by the way, I guess you can say the correct slang for a pig's, because I haven't heard anything. Uh, first Playboy Club featuring bunnies opened in Chicago in 1960. And all those creepy little pervs started showing up. <laughs> I want to tell you something. This is, this is the truth. And I'm a sinner, not a saint. I am not self-righteous, man. But I feel weird going to certain places. And, like, one of those is Hooters. I, I yeah. can't go to Hooters. I just can't go to Hooters. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's like, come on. It's just awkward. It's I, awkward. I can't believe they're still in business. I drive by it every Jeez, day, and it's so just Pete. empty looking. I mean, I just, and people are like, ooh, their wings are good. Oh, God. Yeah. My brother Seth, the one with cerebral palsy, he's always talking to people, asking him to take him to Hooters. <laughs> Jerry said he loves their hamburgers. Uncle Jerry? Yeah. Oh, my God. I know, but that's just fun. That's my uncle, 84 years old, Jake's grandpa. Grandma used to say, why are you going to this place all the time? She didn't know what it was. He said, well, they have great hamburgers. He likes their food. It's like reading the articles in Playboy. My my, um, son and my stepsons go there, too. I, I just can't bring myself to it. The wings are really good. Yeah, well, fine. I'll get really good wings somewhere else. U.S. President JFK established the Peace Corps, and he appointed his brother-in-law, 
Sergeant Shriver. Isn't that great having a, a, your first name is Sergeant? I wish my mom and dad would have named me General. General Dieters. Yeah. I wish my that. parents would name me Doctor. You know, we're allowed to change our names. We ought to do that. You can be Dr. Sablehouse. And, <laughs> hey, from now on, you're Dr. Sablehouse, <laughs> and I'm General Dieters. I am the general of the Bulldog Nation. That's right. Four star. Yeah, baby. Hank Aaron became the first baseball player to sign a $200,000 a year deal. That was in 1972. You know what? You think back, I mean, $200,000 is a lot of money now. 1972, that's a lot of money. A lot of money then. Doesn't compare, though, to the $100 million contracts these guys are signing today. Gordie Howe became the first NHL player to score 800 career goals. Did you know that? Old time hockey. Jake had no clue. Uh, today is also, hey, it's about time you got these back, William. I wonder where these have been freaking going. Yeah. Where the hell they been, William? I think he's been forgetting about them and then realized it after looking at an old newsletter. When we come back, we'll tell you what we're talking about. But uh, you know what I figured in uh, the honor of the big upcoming date between Garrett, or excuse me, Dr. Sablehouse and Traffic Girl. I thought I would give him a little Elton. I got some details on this that, is, too. This what? is your song. This is your song, you. Doctor. Your song. Oh, my God. Intern boy's here. Good morning, Keith. Class X Radio. This is the Bulldog on Class X Radio. I don't know why. You know, I can't believe we forgot about these not being in here. Today's National Horse Protection Day. So go jump in front of the uh, horse and protect it from whatever's coming towards it. It's National Peanut Butter Lover's Day. Hey, uh, Shannon, stop and pick us up some uh, Girl Scout peanut butter cookies there. I'm just teasing. I do not want those. I'll eat a whole. I, you know what? The orange box? You start just eating, and you eat them, and you eat them. National Fruit Compote Day? What the hell's a compote? No it's got to be a typo. National Pig Day. <laughs> I can do a good pig. That was a pretty good pig. National Pig Day. Plan a solo vacation day. Yeah. Explain that to your wife. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Honey, I'm going to Vegas. Nope. Just me. And and, and the other thing, would you let your wife or girlfriend go on a solo vacation? No. Absolutely. Jeez. That's because you don't have one yet. (laughs) You know, I was thinking, I was thinking, you know, we're trying to come up with some little funny little stuff. Bits. You know what we ought to have every day, like once you and Shannon start dating, like you report the next day what happened what the we night did before. the night before. Right. Like Yeah. What? I'll explain in great detail too. That's yeah. a great idea. We'll start like, like where that. you went to dinner, if you did go to dinner, if you got in a fight, what television did you watch? Time we hopped in the sack. <laughs> Justin Bieber is nineteen today. Nineteen Man, the Biebs. Jay Biebs. You know, 19 and 20 kind of suck. Those are bad years. You can't drink I, legally yet. I'm sure he's fine, though. I got I to gotta ask you something. Where does Bieber go from 19? I mean, where does he go? I mean, where does he go up from where he is right now at 19? Yeah. All downhill from here, Bieber. <laughs> You're going to slide into a deep depression, get into a drug addiction. Tony Robbins, S- who's going to tell you how to live your life, is 53. My friend hey, Lori, it's Tony Robbins. My friend, my friend Lori Taylor, does his uh, social network Facebook stuff. At least she claims she does. Yeah, she's full of it. Ron Howard, Opie Taylor. You got an Opie Taylor? You don't even know who the hell Ron Howard is, dude. Oh, we do have a. Oh, we got man, an Opie yeah. Taylor clip. You got a Tony Robbins clip? I mean, come on, yeah, Tony Robbins. Now, now, what's this about rules for pa's and sons? This first, hmm. the seventy-five cent rule. I look like Opie when I was little. Rule. I, I, don't, I, I, I can prove it. I got pictures. I don't believe I ever heard of that. Well, and that's what I figured. What it is, Pa, is that nowadays kids get 75 cents a week allowance instead of 25 cents. 75 cents? See, he was. That's there's always advancement no matter when or what. Time, what time it come to see decade you're in. 52 weeks in a year. It comes to around $40 a year. <laughs> Barney's got a way in. That's an awful lot of money for a young. They get it, Pa. They get it. They do, huh? And they don't have to work for it like I do. (laughs) Who is this uh, this they you keep talking about? Oh, Arnold Winkler and everybody. Arnold Winkler. I don't believe I know him, do I? They're new from Raleigh. 
Uh, oh, I see. And, and the Riley rules say, uh, say 75 cents and no work, huh? I guess. Mm -hmm. You want it straight, don't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> there are no rules for pa's and sons. Uh, it's as simple as this. Each, uh, each mother or father raises his boy or girl, as the case may be, the way that uh, he thinks is best. And I think it's best for you to get a quarter and work for it. You see, when you give something, in this instance, clean the garage, oh and you God, give something in return, like this. a quarter, well, that's the greatest feeling in the world. Save this, please. You do feel good after working, don't you? Uh-huh. Good and tired. <laughs> Man, Opie, getting schooled by old Andy Griffith. I wonder if Barack, let's send this episode to Barack, to Barack Obama, yeah. to the White House. Let's package it up, and we're going to mail it to him. Good lesson. Hey, Jake, who is Mark Paul Gosselar? Which one did he play on Safe by the Bell? Well, you you skipped that one. We That's don't even I skipped it because I didn't care. More from our generation here. Come on. I had a crush on Amber Tyson or whatever her name is. Lisa Turtle? No, her name is Tyson. She was cute. You know who else's birthdays today? You know, we're spending way too much freaking time on birthdays today. Nah, who gives a damn? That's uh, Catherine Bach. <laughs> it's our show. Catherine Bach is 59. You know who she was? Absolutely Daisy not. Daisy Dukes, baby. Dukes a hazard? Man, mm. she could wear a pair of shorts. Not as good as my wife, but I mean, good. Alan Thick, 66. Show me that smile. I like this show. I watch this show. Alan Thick was a cool dude. Cool dude. Is this country, technically? No, it's pop. Dinah Shore. Who is that? She's a television daytime host. I think Burt Reynolds and her may, maybe had a date or two. I only know about her because of that Adam Sandler song. That's right. How much Jewish is Dinah Shore? She 100%? I forget. Uh, <laughs> the late Dinah Shore. <laughs> Dinah Shore. I like the way Adam Sandler talks like that. It's kind of funny the way he talks. Like he's... Re Nope, I almost caught my show. <laughs> like he's, you know, messed up. <laughs> like he is. Today, mostly cloudy, high 38. Saturday, mostly cloudy, high 36. Oh, by the way, man, we've been meeting with these uh, people that, and I don't care what Mike Lyons, his lawyer, says. He's the butcher of Pakistan. Ain't a dang thing he can do about it. Um, these, these people that this guy has literally butchered, they come into my office they can barely walk. They're in tears with pain. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, how do you do this 24-7, 365? I mean, just god-awful cases. He's calling up our, some of our clients, his former patients now, and trying to threaten them and all this good stuff. It's getting crazy out there. Uh, the feel-good song on Facebook is Only the Good Die Young. Hey, did you know Galileo became totally blind shortly before his death? Poor old Galileo. He had a rough life. All those, all those wonderful discoveries that he made that the Catholic Church said, uh, no. <laughs> not the, the, uh, sorry, the sun is not the center of the universe, Galileo. Uh, we're going to excommunicate you and go away. <laughs> Gargling in public is against the law in Louisiana. That ought to be against the law anywhere. Don't you all agree? Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Absolutely. Like breastfeeding in public. You know why America's fat? Because fried chicken is the most popular meal ordered in sit-down restaurants in the U.S. Fried cockroach with garlic is used as medicine for the common cold. Oh, where, William? Botswana? <laughs> Jeez, oh, good <laughs> golly. Yeah. <laughs> Uganda? I mean, we don't, use it. Nation we, is don't, that? we don't use it in America, William. My goodness. Last, William. Do you believe we put up with him every day? Uh, God, some of these things are just stupid. Uh, <laughs> General Robert E. Lee was not a slaveholder, never believed in slavery. So, what's your point, William? Uh, General Stonewall Jackson has two... Now, this is interesting. This is good. I'm going to save this when we come back. I got a great Stonewall Jackson uh, fact for you. Until then, this is the Georgia Satellites. And by the way, this video... 
They did it on a flatbed truck driving down a country road, obviously in the south. It was very creative. <laughs> Georgia's satellites, keep your hands to yourself, which is what Shannon's going to say to Garrett on their date. This is the Boo Dog. Shannon says that that uh, guy's name was Zach. I think he was the cute little blonde guy that all the girls go, Ooh, Zach. I'm Zach Morris. Yeah, Zach Morris. Stonewall Jackson has two separate burial sites. One for his amputated left arm in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and one for the rest of his body in Lexington, Virginia. It's pretty interesting. All right, guys, have you seen the newsletter? Because you won't know this if... uh, you won't know this if you haven't read the newsletter. What bat or what, what battle? But where was uh, he killed? What was? How, how did Stonewall Jackson die? Tell us the story, guys. You know the story. It's a good story. Pneumonia. I'll no, let you start. Dick. It was after it was uh, uh, after the battle with Chancellorsville, and at nighttime he went out on patrol, so to speak, to check things out. And uh, he was riding down a little path there, and he came kind of between uh, his men. And they thought he was somebody trying to sneak through, and they shot him. And he was shot and killed by his own men. They amputated his arm. When Robert E. Lee heard that they amputated his arm, he said, he has lost his left arm. I have lost my right. Because he was his main. There are some people, the Stonewall Jackson lovers folks says, that the war might have turned out differently had he not been killed. At and the Battle of... He died uh, two weeks later. He died two weeks later. And his f- last words were, let's cross over the river and rest upon the shade of the tree on the other side. That was his last words. Sad. How he liked to suck that? lemon. He liked to suck lemons during battle. Hmm. Arms raised. Yeah, I got his nickname, Battle Bull Run or Battle Manassas. First battle. The... Uh, Union soldiers were just crushing the the Confederates. The rebels were on a run. And there was a little ridge there that old Stonewall lined up his people. Thomas Jackson was his name. Lined up his men. And a, uh, I think, I actually think it was a Union man. Might have been a rebel man. But a soldier said, look, there's Thomas Jackson like a, General Jackson like a stone wall. And he was forevermore Stonewall Jackson. He was a very strict, I think Presbyterian. Um, He was teaching at the outbreak of the war at uh, the Virginia Military Institute. I've read his biography. It's good. It's a great story. Stonewall Jackson. What could have been if he didn't die? They say that he had a more... Robert E. Lee listened to him more than Longstreet. So when Longstreet at Gettysburg, which was a disaster... That he thinks that Stonewall, a lot of people think Stonewall Jackson would have, they would have avoided the uh, debacle that was Gettysburg charges and whatnot if Jackson would have been there. He would have said, General Lee, we shouldn't do this. And Lee would have gone, okay. From the 1500s to 1700s, tobacco was prescribed by doctors to treat a variety of ailments, including headaches, toothaches, arthritis, and breath. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what you want. In the 19th like century, all day. Uh, in the Middle Ages, up until the 19th century, barbers used to perform bloodletting, wound treatment, dentistry, minor operations, and bone settings. Oh, my God. When the staff, the patient would grip while the barber bled the patient. That's, a, that's where the red pole originates from. Oh, my God. That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. Uh, George Washington named Washington, D.C. Federal City. It wasn't changed to Washington, D.C. till after his death. George Orwell, author of Animal Farm in 1984, wrote under a pen name. His real name was Eric Blair. Why would you ever give up the name Eric and name yourself George? If you're already named, that doesn't make any sense. Hey, this supports my belief that George Harrison was the best Beatle. His My Sweet Lord was the first Beatle song to have a number one hit following the group's breakup. You don't give a dang, do you, Keith, the intern? I do. You do care? Okay. George Washington's favorite horse name was Lexington. Napoleon's was Marengo. And U.S. Grant's three horses were Egypt, 
Cincinnati and Jeff Davis. That would be Jeff kind of Davis. funny to name your horse after the guy. Like if I ever have a horse, I'm you know I ain't gonna name my horse Rob Sanders. No, there ain't no way. Which Wenzel the horse? Yeah, which Wenzel? <laughs> now you know what? If I ever have a great like when I'm rich and I buy race horses, which Wenzel does sound like a good name for a horse, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Which Wenzel? Which Wenzel's coming down the track? Uh, and she is kind of like a horse. Bubble gum sticks to the inside rail. Oh, uh, what to call a horse race? Let's call the Kentucky Derby this year. Okay, we'll do we that. We get NBC on the horn. All right. This is hilarious because Chuck Holbrook and I were just talking about German Shepherds, and that's the kind of dog I think Dr. Durrani lets run around his uh, office. And I, I was telling him, German Shepherds scare the hell out of me. German Shepherds bite humans more than any other breed of dog. I believe that because I've been bitten by Ginger, the German Shepherd dog, many years ago. Ghosts appear in four Shakespearean plays. Julius Caesar, Richard III, Hamlet, and Macbeth. I remember the first, the last, I didn't know about Caesar. Hmm. Gilligan of Gilligan's Island had a first name that was only used once on the never-aired pilot show. Guess what his first name was? Thomas. Willie. Willie. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Question of the day is worthy. If someone wrote a biography about you, Dr. Sable House, what would the title be? What would the title of my biography? Oh, uh, you're fired? No. That's too much like Trump. Yeah. That's what I thought of exactly when I said that. I don't know. Swinging. No, you I think he said, I, how about Wisecracker? Wisecracker. <laughs> has a picture of a half-eaten cracker yeah. on it. I just came up with That's pretty good. That's a good one. You're a white boy. Yeah, right, me... Wisecracker. Well, I've named your biography. What about you? I don't know. Jake? Well, I, Hockey yeah. guy. <laughs> that was a bad one. All right, let's, ask, let's turn thing. the microphone of uh, Keith, the intern here. Give him some uh, air time. All right, Keith, the uh, intern, what is going to be your biographer's name or biography's name? Uh, volunteer intern for life. Volunteer very, intern very for cre- life. Very yeah. creative there, Mr. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Keith. Thank know. you very much. Attention grabbing, Keith. Mm-hmm. My biography is going to be called Bulldog. Bulldog. It's better than mine. You just fill the whole cover with <laughs> O's. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury, we come back. We're going to pick up the pace and rock you all the way to 9 o'clock. This is Frampton. Do you feel like I do? Oh, this whole yeah, all 13 minutes of it. Not. This is the Bulldog on Class X Radio. I hope you have a job that you don't have to deal with jerks all day. And then again, what job don't you? What job do you not have to deal with jerks? You know, that's the way life is. All right, let's get rolling here, pop culture. Uh, Clint Eastwood has signed a brief to the U.S. Supreme Court urging the court to strike down California Proposition Eight, which bans same-sex marriage in California. Put yourself out there again, Clint. That's why we like you. Duck Dynasty. The show is now the number one nonfiction cable series for the year. What is Duck Dynasty? We got a little clip Some here. hillbilly show, I yeah. think. Big hillbilly. William There's said no it was way we do it in living color. Sam, si, what are you doing? I'm fixing to show these boys what it sounds like when a dove cries. <laughs> but what, where, who are they? Where, where's it setting? I think these guys uh, made billions of dollars making the duck call. Yeah, they made a duck call, got loaded, and now they're hillbillies living in some real rich neighborhood down in like, like like Louisiana. Or, basically. I it, yeah. see. I see. That's funny. I like all kinds of music. Meatloaf, the cranberries, the corn. William said this was freaking Little salt hilarious. Pepper goes along. Really? And my personal favorite, iced tea. <laughs> you dropped that bomb on me, baby. Turn on the radio, there's the flu fighters. Right, that's good listening, man. Hump, hump, my lovely, lovely hump. Of course I like the Do they got kids? Eat. It makes me hungry I when so. I, I say the that. name because I... They got like smoking hot kids. wives because yeah. they're rich. But really? They're just, I mean, it's weird. It's These so girls weird. weren't from their hometown. They picked them up somewhere else, Did huh? You take your oh, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I skipped it today. It's, it's all scripted, but I guess the story's legit. It's... Enough of that. Music, stop. 
Uh, Joan Rivers is under fire from the Anti-Defamation League, the comedian, the Jewish individual's husband lost most of his family. Auschwitz is refusing to apologize for a joke she made about Heidi Klum's Oscar dress, which revealed almost all of her breasts. The last time a German looked this hot was when they were pushing Jews into the yeah. ovens. Mm. Bad Joan. Even no. for Joan. That's... Jazz. Bad, bad, Who was bad. that? Joan Rivers said yeah. that? Yeah. But Joan would say stuff. I don't know. She shouldn't lose her job or anything. Just... That's her thing is going too far. That's right. Kanye West. He once slammed Taylor Swift saying Taylor Swift beat Beyonce at the Grammys. Beyonce be dancing in heels and... <laughs> God, it's fun. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston is reportedly set... A date to marry her screenwriter fiance Justin Thoreau, Thoreau, Thoreau yeah. whatever his freaking name is. Girls Gone Wild has filed bankruptcy, sixteen point three million in debt and only fifty thousand assets. Boy, I guess him being in jail yeah. finished him. I mean, because he had something good going there, didn't he? What's it? What's that guy's name? Oh gosh, I would know. I, I'll think of it. I know it, Francis. His last name is Francis. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, – uh, anyway. Jennifer Lawrence was photographed on the balcony of her hotel in Hawaii smoking what appeared to be marijuana. Boy, they're just going to try to get get her doing something bad, aren't they? Oh, she's got to do something bad. Oh, let Who me see. That? Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. Smoking the reefer. Do you trust the news media? 56. Joe France. Somewhat trustworthy. Six percent very trustworthy, forty-two percent don't trust them. Only ten percent rely on print newspaper for their news. Uh, that's why the Enquirer is going out of business slowly but surely. Greta Van Susteren has revealed yesterday that her husband, high power Washington attorney John Cole, has been battling cancer since December. She said it's treatable. He's undergone four or five surgeries. All right. <laughs> All the best, Greta. Cancer sucks. Xavier University, ESPN report Xavier will join the Catholic Seven, a reconfigured Big East next season. Mm. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's whatever. I, I don't, Wait, I don't know will what's Xavier going on. Xavier being I don't the know. same league as UC? No, no. The seven Catholic schools, most of whom are from the Big East, are are going to be in this. Villanova, St. John's, uh, who else we got up there? Rutgers, no. Boston College. Seton Hall. Of, Seton Hall is one of them. Oh, just a bunch of those schools. You know, Catholic it, seven. It's kind of pretty bad that i got to keep picking you up in sports. Yeah, I know. I, know. You know? I, I don't follow the conference realignment. It's too much of a cluster. Michael Jordan's being sued by a woman who claims he fathered her 16-year-old son. See, that's what happens in retirement when you're filthy rich and you ain't got nothing to do. People sue you. <laughs> Who's Michael's getting sued or doing the being suing? Being sued. Being sued. Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, Bowling Green assistant. Who cares about that one? Hey, William, uh, we don't care about the Bowling Green assistant women's basketball issues, okay? Oh, God. Good God. William. What? How the hell is that big part? As you get. We're losing credibility in the sports department, William. God. Wasn't the that Black- slow of a sports day, was it? The Blackhawks 3-0 win over the St. Louis Blues extended their record season point streak to 20 games. Is there any 20. betting going on about whether they will be undefeated? I had my money. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm, let's put a hundred bucks down. Let's isn't it a short? Yeah. Isn't, it a short isn't it a shortened season? Yeah, it's only a forty-five games, forty-eight. You guys want to call Vegas? I'll give you ten to one odds. Bet you a hundred bucks that, that they be, lose a game. That would be incredible. That would be. Hmm. They'll, they'll lose. They'll lose one. They'll run out of steam. The Reds somewhere. beat the Diamondbacks fourteen to six, then they lost the Diamondbacks five to six. Today they're at Kansas City. NASCAR Sunday, three p.m. It's the Sprint Cup Series. Don't care, Kansas. William. Yeah, we do. Keep the NASCAR out. Cyclones play tonight at home. Go, go see the Cyclones. Go, go see the Cyclones. I support Nick Bronker. Uh, let me see in basketball. Lakers beat the Minnesota game. Who cares about the rest? Uh, Ohio State, 63. Northwestern, 53. Northern Kentucky, 72. North Florida must really suck. 45. Uh, Moorhead State, 101. Tennessee State. Good job, William. Putting the local teams first. That's good. Eastern Kentucky, 69. A lot of people around here went to Eastern. Tennessee Tech, 54. Gonzaga, 70. Brigham Young, 65. Virginia knocks off number three, Duke, 73 to 68. How come Duke can lose and they never drop? That's what I'm just saying. I think it's fair. They drop. They do not drop. I like Duke, actually. Oh, 
Oh. I like Duke a lot. Oh. I don't like North Carolina. Oh. Oh. Big Duke guy. Big Duke I like guy. to see them win it. Mm-hmm. If it weren't for UC, obviously. Mm-hmm. And Highland Heights, 21-year-old Mose, Moises Solano Davalos and 29-year-old Pedro Mendonas Jr., were arrested after the DEA removed $3 million of heroin from a home near NKU. He arranged the drug deals in L.A. and traveled to Cincy to complete them. And I'm going to tell you something. That just tells you the how much heroin you can sell in the tri-state. Wow. $3 Jeez. million dollars worth. Ugh. I'm going to tell my wife that. She'll be happy to see that. Way to go, Chris. Colrain, mom sentenced to three years in prison. Hmm. She's all she did was starve her twelve and sixteen year old grandchildren as punishment. That's all. Or children, twelve and sixteen year old children, just starve them for punishment. He hasn't done that. That's all. I mean, come on. Oh. They they were they were acting up. Come on, man. How about this dead body in Southgate? Identified the body of sixty six year old David Sellers after he was found at the Mook Road complex yesterday. Police said he did not die from natural causes. By the way, I know a David Sellers, but he's younger than 66, thank God. I know two David Sellers. Hmm. Oh, well. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury, we come back, we will continue the show. Traffic Girl, she's late. Where is she? God. Guns and Roses, Paradise City. We're going we're gonna to start waking you up now. We're not going to mess around anymore on Class X Radio. This is the Boodog. On the Class X Radio. All right. Traffic Girl is barely here on time. Well, you're I'm a little here. late. Good morning. No, I'm here right on time. And I just want everybody to know. We How had, you doing, Shannon? We had a I'm big great. fight off you? the air Good. between Garrett and Shannon for Garrett's rude comments. Garrett is mean. Yeah, I need he to apologize mean. on air. I said some things about Shannon yesterday. <laughs> Shouldn't have said. Shannon's a really smart girl. Thanks, yep. Garrett. Awesome. It's too little, too late, buddy. <laughs> is there anything going on in traffic out <laughs> Damn. there? Damn. In Hamilton County, there is an injury accident on Ronald Reagan Highway, westbound near Witten Road, and Cincinnati, a disabled vehicle blocking the right shoulder on 75 northbound and slow traffic from Western Hills via Harrison Avenue. What is the status that was an awesome of the poster? Port. It's on the way. It's on the way. All right, because this is going to be the big day. It's revealed. We got, we'll, I tell you what, we'll video you turn the camera and we video. We'll show it to the public there. Okay. Hey, uh, what else do we have? Uh, that's the 21st <laughs> annual Bachfest is March 1st to 3rd, Cincinnati mm-hmm. over the Rhine. Go down there and Bachfest it today. You like Bach? Heck yeah. no. Uh, do I? I don't know. Probably not. I like Miller Lite. Uh, it's not a Bach. I'm There's not a not beer a Bach connoisseur. You, you don't like beer? Well, I, I like beer. beer. I like Miller Lite too. Hey, that uh, private... See, Shannon, we have things in common. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Step one. (laughs) That U.S. Army Private Bradley Manning, the WikiLeaks guy, pled guilty. He pled guilty! Guilty. He's going to be in jail for a while, I think. That's what I just think. I could be wrong. Maybe he's not going to be in jail for a while. Benedict the 16th, now known as Benedict the 16th Pope Emeritus, is spending time at the papal summer residence before entering the monastery. I promise my unconditional obedience and reference to the future Pope. Obedience. Hmm. <laughs> Give up your pew for Lent. Resignation. That's what American Catholics are. For. My God. Boy, the New York Times just hates everybody, don't they? At least they hate Catholics, they hate conservatives, they hate Republicans, they hate talk show hosts. Uh, Republicans blocked a measure to replace the sequester with a $55 billion in new taxes on millionaires. But you know what? Barack Obama just wants to tax people. God dang, I want to tax people. I ain't taxing me. I'm going to tax people, bitch. <laughs> Rick James, bitch. I'm Rick James. Hey, here is a... Uh, here, Rick James, bitch. Here, here is a virtual cabinet meeting of Barack Obama and Rick James trying to decide what to do with the budget crisis. Rick, it's nice for you to stop by. I appreciate it, and I look forward to any helpful hints that you might have. We would be grateful. Um, Running out of options. Sequester happens midnight tonight. What do you think we should do? 
Well, Mr. President, the way I look at it is there's a whole bunch of millionaires out there that we ought to tax the hell out of them. Tax them, bitch! I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you right now. They're trying to find, they're trying to increase taxes on the rich people. $55 billion, And they got this $1.2 trillion gap. I tell you right now, this Manchurian candidate thing, I don't think it's off the mark. You know, and everybody's afraid to say that. Everybody's afraid to say that, oh, you know, believe in conspiracies or nothing. I don't necessarily believe in like it was like a united effort, but Barack Obama is up to stuff, man. And anybody who doesn't think that, you're crazy. I'm not the crazy one. You're the crazy one. I mean, he he is trying to destroy America. Sound like a drunk guy. Do I? <laughs> I'm not crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crazy. You're crazy. We got any Otis from Beverly Hills? We got yeah. uh, Andy Griffith. We got Jake, any Otis? Probably not. Jake's on the. Yeah, Jake just sits here and plays on his phone. Uh, I think it's intern- about time are you an intern boy? Are you an intern boy like playing games what on you your phones? About? We're gonna fire you. Mm. We're, gonna, we're pondering you. And, and oh, how about this too? Just... How about how about Boehner and Reed, the Democrats and Republicans? They're all like really. Uh, anxious to do these things. Uh, Harry, we're going to do tax code. We're going to reform this. And it's like, well, what the hell? Why didn't you freaking do that in the first place? You know, it's like now they're all gung ho about doing something. But they didn't want to do it last year, the year before, or any other time. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Now, I can't say armed revolution, I guess. Um, we need a revolution in this country. I mean, anybody that doesn't think we don't need a revolution in this country is crazy. And I'm not, and I'm not saying that we don't the, the government structure that we have I think is okay. It's just that we got the wrong freaking people in the positions and you're not going to get them out with the fact that they get to raise the money and everything else until we just say get that get out of here and replace them. It ain't going to change. It's self, self-fulfilling. self Once you get in those high offices, you can raise money. And then you stay there. We do. I mean, what do you guys think? You guys are all younger than me. You guys are in your 20s. I'm, I'm the old guy here at 49. What do you guys think? Do you think the country's okay and the track it's on, everything's going to be all right? Or do you think we need a wholesale change? Change. I like you. Yep. Shannon wants change. Uh, just don't bother me. I'm fine the way it is. <laughs> I'll say change. Good. You can you know you know what we just proved the one person that doesn't care about America is Garrett, Garrett. Doctor Sable. <laughs> yeah, Dr. I got an upside Sable. down flag. He wants to be called Doctor now, Shannon. Okay, yeah. I'm right, changing doc. my name. That way, I don't have to actually earn the doctorate's degree. Yeah, I'm just you just want to be change doc. my name. Doctor. Doc. Doctor. Doctor. Give me the news. Call a got a bad case. I hate that song. What's wrong with that song? Terrible song. Doctor Love. What about that? Doctor Love. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Second thought. I'm not. Hey, I don't want to be called. Hey, who doesn't think the sequester is a bad thing? Air Force Two has to be grounded for weekend trips home. Hmm. Joe Biden doesn't have his plane. Don't you think that's a good thing? I think it's a good thing. Poor Joe. Mm-hmm. Hillary Clinton is going to be the next president. God. <laughs> well, she'd be better than Barack anyway. Don't you think? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Nancy Pelosi on the Republicans. I can never explain what Republicans were thinking. I'll never understand. I go to get Botox and then I come back and nothing changes. <laughs> they either don't know what's in the bill or they're just using talking points. How's my Botox look? <laughs> Give me a freaking song. Nance. Old Nancy. I love this song. This song might. This this song could make my top 25 all-time songs. Jefferson Airplane from Surrealistic Pello. Somebody to love. This is the Bulldog on Class X Radio. Ladies and gentlemen of the American jury, we will now get a Friday morning traffic report. And you know what? We want to thank everybody in the tri-state for driving better on Friday or staying home and making it easier because... It's always better on Friday. And we also want to announce that we're headed for Snappy for breakfast. Go ahead there. <laughs> in Hamilton County, there is an injury accident on Ronald Reagan Highway near Winton Road. 
And in Cincinnati, a disabled vehicle blocking the right shoulder on 75 northbound with slow traffic from Western Hills at Harrison Avenue. All right. It's pretty good, Shannon. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I want to give Oracle status to Senator Sherrard Brown of Ohio, a Democrat. You've been awarded Oracle status. He is working with Senator David Vitter, a Republican from Louisiana, to break up big banks that hold assets equally to 70% of our gross domestic product. They say the banks reap too many advantages because they're too big to fail status. I agree 100%. It is bad, bad, bad for this country. And and break their silence. I wonder if he's going to bring along his son named Tag. As part of the upcoming episode of Fox News Sunday. In a flash, it was all gone. Secret Service, the crowds, the intensity, the minute-by-minute schedule, and suddenly nothing. How tough is that? It's an adjustment. It is an adjustment, but it's one that we, I think we did well. Um, you know, in, it's interesting, in our church we're used to serving, and you, know, you can be in a very high position, um, but you recognize you're serving, and then all of a sudden you're released and you're, you're nobody, and, and we're used to that. It's like we came and stepped forward to serve. And, you know, the other part of it was, was an, an amazing thing. I wonder who wears pants and in this relationship. And it was really quite a, a lot of energy and a lot of passion and a lot of, a lot of people around us. And all of a sudden, it was nothing. But um, She's articulating the, the good pretty news good, is, she? fortunately, we like each other. <laughs> it's different, but it's like, you know, riding on a roller coaster. We were on a roller coaster, exciting and thrilling, ups and downs, but the ride ends. And then you get off. And it's not like, oh, can't we be on a roller coaster the rest of our life? It's like, no, that ride's over. I like Mitt. I like Mitt, too. He's a good guy. Yeah. Shame he wasn't a better candidate. And But you know what, though? You think about everything. <laughs> Man, I don't know. It's like the, st- the, the deck was stacked against him. Yeah. Why public schools should teach the Bible. The Bible has affected the world for centuries in innumerable ways, including art, literature, philosophy, government, philanthropy, education, social justice, and humanitarianism. You know what? What the hell is wrong with freaking teaching the Bible in a school? You know that the Ten Commandments, people forget this. The Ten Commandments, an original thought of the bulldog. The Ten Commandments is the complete backbone of criminal law in this country. It is. The Ten Commandments is criminal law. Did you know that, Mr. Sable? I did, Dr. yeah. Mr. Sablehouse. You know, journalism and law are real similar. We have a, Basically, we have the same degree. Oh, you read? That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I write, you read. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you think there's going to be a sequester deal at the late hour? I say no way. It's going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's over. Let it all. Oh, Freddie Mac, 2012, post largest profit ever. Eleven billion. How can you have a? Why do we let? Oh God! Uh, Michigan Governor Rick Snyder says he will declare a financial emergency for Detroit and start taking over the city. I wonder. I wonder if that uh, affects good old uh, our chief here in Cincinnati's willingness to go to Detroit. That his city is going to get take over by the state, or maybe that is an incentive for him because he'll make more money. Chief Craig. Uh, Student loan debt. Guess what, folks? We are now at, this is incredible. Student loan debt is at $966 billion. Almost a trillion. And guess how the percentage of overdue borrowers there are? 17%. That's why you pay your bills on time, people. No. All this talk, all all that happened with the... uh, Financial crisis from 2008 forward, those having the student loans are thinking, Obama's going to bail us out. Obama's going to. And by the way, he's accelerated those loans. He's, he's doing nothing to slow down the rate of the loans. I'm telling you, he hates America. He's going to leave the White House going, ha, ha, suckers. I'm probably like 40K or something in the hole from college. Are you? I'm paying about 450 a month. That sucks. Yeah. Wow. And at like 10% interest on some of the, like, Private loans. Well, good for you for paying and back. I mean, uh, think of how many kids are out there like that. Mm-hmm. Millions of kids are like that. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, that don't have jobs, exactly. Good point, Jake. 
All right, what city, what city in the world has the most billionaires? This will shock you. This will shock you. No, what city? Silicon Valley. Uh, yeah, I was going to say Washington. Port, uh, no, what what's in Washington? What city in the world has the most billionaires? Oh, in the world? Somewhere in um, the Middle East. Moscow. 76 billionaires. That's my next guess. There's 70. Uh, Russian there's, billionaires. There's 70 billionaires. <laughs> 70 billionaires in New York, 54 in Hong Kong, 41 in Beijing, 40 in London. I wonder how many is in L.A. How many in um, you take Russia? 76. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's an elite list. I Where be, do they get their money? I want to be. I want to be. Sell snow. I want to be the answer to the trivia question. How many billionaires are there in Independence, Kentucky? None. none. There is none. You are a part of it. No, 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 I, would, I would like to be that. Wouldn't that be funny to be like a billionaire in a small in, town? In a small town. <laughs> It'd be fun. Oh, well. That's why billionaires move out of their <laughs> small towns. You think I'd be oh, too oh. big? I wouldn't be too big for my hometown if I was a billionaire. Live in some think podunk about, town like think Independence. Of all, those, all those people be coming to me for money. Oh. I'd said I'd be it'd be fun seeing them bag for my God, bag, bag, I'll give you yeah. some. I'd turn I'm them right te- down. I'm just teasing. I wouldn't. I would. I would build. The hell off my yard. I would uh, <laughs> I would go up to Simon Kenton and say, uh, let me tell you, um, I think I got like 10, 20 million. I'd like to, you know, give away, uh, get rid of uh, a couple people here. I'd be happy to give it to you. You know, I'm, I make fun <laughs> of Trent Steiner all the time because he's just a lousy coach. And I, I, I just, I can't stand the guy on so many fronts. Simon Kenton is playing in there. And maybe even played last night. Did they play last night? They're in the regional. Call Dan. They're in the regional finals of the tenth dish, uh, the tenth region. It's a miracle. I mean, God, who do they play? I mean, I'm rooting. Ryle. <laughs> I, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for them because of my hometown team and the kids. I huffy for the kids and all that. But you don't like the coach, I huh? I can't stand the coach. You go kick his ass. My principal. I know. What did you think of him? I thought he was a real mean person. Real knob, huh? A jerk. A real knob. Hey, you want to hear something funny about him? Yep. This explains a lot. He used to be a cop way down in Kentucky know, somewhere. Yeah. And I would like to exam- – I never have. I'd like to wonder what his record is as you a cop. you wonder why he's a police officer now. Yeah, I, but can, I wonder what happened to him as a police officer. A but doesn't he act like kind of one of those police officers yeah. that maybe he's got a small willy whacker <laughs> or something? <laughs> You know what I mean? Let's launch an investigation on Trent Steiner. There we go. It's launched. Steiner's going down. Operation Little Willy Whacker. God, so he's from the depths of Kentucky. He's a real oh, yeah. hillbilly. Yeah, he's oh, way wow. down there. Mountain man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll go over there. Take a little trip to, where is it, Simon Kenton High? Huh? Yeah. Simon Kenton High. I, I want to Simon Kenton I wanna tell you something. I want to tell you something right now. Sky High? I know for a fact. There's corruption in that school. <laughs> oh, yeah? You think the kids are cheating on tests? No, uh, not the kids. What's going on? Not the kids. Embezzlement. I'm going to guess what sex scandal. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? Em- embezzlement. Might I'm going to investigate this myself. Huh? I kind of find you hillbillies interesting. Just to study how you <laughs> people live down there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go into Simon Kenton. Uh-huh. Let's see what the deal is. You know what is. I ought to do? I ought to blow. I, you know what I ought to do? I'm going to go, Shan? Yeah. I tell you what. I'm going to go undercover. No, no, no. That's it. Covert. You know what? You know what? I'm going for it, okay? When we come back at 735, I am going to break the scandal, the new scandal at Simon Kenton High School. How do you like that? We'll break it Still. right here on Class X Radio. And then let's I'm taking, sue their ass. I'm taking the news into my own hands. I know the facts. We're going to break the scandal. So Who's don't son- turn that down. Call all your friends and tell them to turn to no. 88.9 and 89.1 because it's going down. Hey, I'll talk to you. Though. We, we got to blackmail them. And just re- we ought to no, not break it. Blackmail them. And just remember, just remember, folks. Make some money on I this. have never been sued. Even if I was sued, it'd be false. I have never been sued for libel or slander. Anything I've ever said on the radio because it is the truth. Yeah, it's first time for everything. <laughs> so, so when we come back, Trent Steiner is like, oh, my God, I'm done. Until then, this is Hendrix, Foxy Lady. We'll play this for Mary Z. 
It's fun being a rebel. This is the Bulldog. Eric Dieter's on Class X Radio. Uh, Well, remember I told you a while back, folks, that we're going to start breaking news here. And uh, I know know other news stations listen to me. I know all kinds of important people, Average Joes, Bulldog Nation. We cover the gambit. And uh, I told everybody, you know, you, you can't get a story to break on television. They won't cover it or the newspaper. Just email me. It's got to be it's got to be truthful. If it's newsworthy, the, and here's what's newsworthy. See, I do press releases all the time. And I will send out a press release and I will give the media a story if I believe it is in the public interest. That's the standard, not whether it's in my interest, public interest. Like Dr. Aboob Car. How do you like that name? Abubakar Durrani. Dr. Abubakar Durrani. Um, doing unnecessary spine surgeries, I think that's newsworthy. And I think it's in the public interest that we warn them. But give us a traffic report so I can break some hot news out of Simon Kenton High School. In Cincinnati, there is a disabled vehicle blocking the right shoulder on 75 northbound. Slow traffic from Hopple Exit 3 in Hamilton County, an accident on Ronald Reagan. In Hamilton County, also an accident on Queen City Avenue at Sunset, an accident on Mosteller Road south of 275, an accident on Glenway Avenue east of Grand Avenue, and in Cincinnati, a disabled vehicle on Red Bank Road at Duck Creek. Great report. All right. All right. This is going to be nice. I'm not going to get interrupted because they'll be eating their snappy breakfast, snappy tomato pizza (laughs) breakfast. Snappy, yep. All right, folks, here it is. Um, There's nothing worse, and I know all of you have had to experience this before that uh, you got issues with certain people in your administration, coaching, teachers, and whatnot, and it's your kid's school. And you're in a real pickle because, you know, they could, there's consequences if you raise hell, if you know what I mean. And uh, all through my kids, when they went through Simon Kenton High School, I mean, I had issues with a few people, and it was like, man, uh, you got to bite. And I have a hard time biting my tongue. But the two people that I had the most issues with were Jeff Marksberry, the athletic director uh, and head football coach, and also Brent Steiner, who is the assistant principal or something like that, and basketball coach. I think he might be the assistant athletic director. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say this publicly uh, before I break the news because um, it's sad. Um, My son and his friends went through there, played football, Uh, other sports, I don't know a single former football player at Simon Kenton High School that played football there that loves, uh, respects, and holds in reverence Jeff Marksberry. Now, now what does that mean? Think about it. All those kids coming through there. Uh, He is a beat-em-down kind of guy, coach. Beat-em-down, 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 as opposed to lift-em-up guy. Um, the football practices, and I, I know, for example, as, as, as recent as this past year, some of the things that went on. For example, uh, I wonder uh, if Coach Burns calls kids the P word. Wait a minute. In this day and age, are, aren't they supposed to be fired? I mean, it, it, it is. To, and you know what? What's funny is, is when the program has a success, it's despite them. I mean, uh, okay, Miles Simpson, who, by the way, I ran into uh, two nights ago. Those are wondering, Miles looks great. And I had a good talk with Miles. And, um, you know, when you have Miles Simpson on your team, uh, you're going to win games. You got Chad Lawrence and Parker Dieters and Austin Baldwin and Zach Carroll and the whole. Sorry if I missed any, but you guys were all great players. I mean, you're going to win football games despite yourself. Um, and I'm tickled to death that Simon Kenton's basketball team's in the regional finals. I'm rooting for you. I hope you win, despite my disgust for Trent Steiner. But I've seen him blow opportunity and opportunity for having good players and good teams. So I'm, I imagine these kids are probably winning despite themselves, too. But here's the deal, okay? Um, they never, ever, ever made you feel comfortable coming around school and, and, and if you're a parent there you know what i'm talking about you could you could do things donate things support the school and when you showed up they made you feel like you were you know, like what are you doing here but here's the scandal folks here's the scandal uh 
They always told us parents that we couldn't have boosters. You can't have boosters. All the money goes to the school. Can't, you know, we will not allow money going to the, a boosters program. It's got to go to the school. Oh, okay. Okay. So you have these drives. You know, you have what's called a mulch sale. They always had. You've got the concessions at the football games and basketball games and all of this, right? So you got these concessions. Well, here's the deal. And I'm going to preface my comments by this. I don't know what the end result is. I don't know if somebody committed a crime. Um, Time's going to tell. But I do know this. I know it smells to high heaven. And I'm not the only one that thinks it smells to high heaven. I know for a fact people in administration thinks it smells to high heaven. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, Somebody uh, kept track of the cash at the concession stands, okay, that worked there. Kept track of the cash. Turned the cash over. Guess who the cash is turned over to every single day? At at the football games, for example. Not Trent Steiners. They're always there to get the money, get the cash. All right? Now... I wonder if he knew that somebody was counting that cash. Be interesting, wouldn't it? It'd be interesting to see where that cash went, what accounts it went into, and whether the same amount of cash went in an account was put in there. Now, I want to tell you something. I've been patient. I know for a fact that an an internal audit, an audit was supposed to be going on, and I also know for a fact that there was great concerns out of the central office. And you know why? Here's the blockbuster news for you folks. The whole time, they were telling us, no boosters, no boosters. It all goes to the school. Guess what they were telling central office? That's booster money. That's booster money. Once again, I'm going to say this. They're telling the parents, you can't have boosters. It all goes to the school, and they're telling their bosses all this money is booster money, not school money. Now, why would you do that? I'm a lawyer. Why? I'm allowed to ask, ask questions. Why would you tell us we can't? Have, we get the money. They want the money. We, we don't get to have the boosters. We don't get to have any money. They want the money. Why would they be telling central office that it's uh, booster money? Unless something's a little out of whack. And I know for a fact that uh, there's an investigation going on. And I, and, and I can tell you right now, I'm tired of waiting because it doesn't take too long to sit there. I'm supposed to keep my mouth shut, to be honest with you. But I'm tired of waiting because let me tell you something. It doesn't take very long to go check a bank records. And I know for a fact they know exactly how much cash was handed to them. Then let's see how much money went into an account oh it gets even better you know you sell stuff he he i used to support the program give him money for t-shirts give all these things they sold me i had to pay like two or three thousand dollars for the basketball uh they wanted a new basketball scores table put my name on it two thousand law law practice two or three thousand a couple years later they sold it to somebody else got them to spend some money and advertise and when I bought it, I said, well, I'd buy it. This is going to be forever, right? Nah. Let me tell you something. Regardless of whether there's a scandal on that front, they are not good for kids. Kids in high school should have people that, that are uplifting, inspiring, push them in a positive manner, not beat, 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 beat down. And they're beater downers. I'm not talking about, come on, Jim, run, run, run. I'm not talking about that stuff. I'm talking about just... Beat them down. So there you have it, folks. We'll shake this thing out. We'll see. We'll see what the the investigation stage is where it is. Because let me tell you something. I'm very concerned because I know how schools work. They don't want the public scandal. They want to push it under the table. So all you mainstream newspaper people out there and television reporters, why don't you go start asking questions? Is there an audit going on about cash? From boost from uh, 
activities, camps and whatnot, and concessions at Simon Kenton High School. I want to know what the results are. This is Stone Satisfaction on Class X Radio. Oh, go on Class X Radio. Simon Kenton plays South Oldham tonight. South Oldham's the higher rank. Here's Trent Steiner's coaching ability. This is hilarious. Uh, my daughter, Charlie Ann, was a junior. And uh, they had um, a pretty good basketball team, including a six foot eight guy. All right? And he had not hardly missed a shot. I mean, he was playing great because South Oldham or North Oldham, whatever it was, one of the Oldham County schools were short. Game's tied. 20 seconds left. We got the ball. Uh, you'd think you'd throw it into the six foot eight guy, let him get fouled or make a shot, right? No, we took a three <laughs> that missed, and then they went on. Then they went on to lose. And what cracks me up is how some people act like that's not a big deal. Are you kidding me? That was the one and only opportunity those boys and those girls who were cheerleaders could go to Rupp Arena, even if it's one and done. You you blow that once in a lifetime opportunity because of it. Burns me up. I got more too. Playing at Rupp, kind of the the. Pinnacle of. I got more. I got more too. And what I'm about ready to say, you're going to think to yourself, gosh, did we do traffic? No. Do traffic. In Hamilton County, there is an injury accident on Ronald Reagan Highway. In Cincinnati, a disabled vehicle on 75 northbound. In Erlanger, a disabled vehicle on 71 75 northbound of Erlanger exit. In Edgewood, an accident on Dudley at Thomas Moore Parkway. In Hamilton County, an accident on Queen City Avenue at Sunset Avenue. And in Cincinnati, an accident on the ramp to I-71, northbound on Red Bank Expressway at 71. Thank you very much. How about this? And this, this is what's so funny. The people that don't like me and the people that uh, think that uh, I'm telling lies or, or I'm doing all this stuff, sue me. Sue me. Okay? I, I, I can call Rob Sanders corrupt, and I can back it up with facts. What I'm about ready to say, I can back up with facts. I'm not going to get sued because he knows it's factual and it's sick. I got to ask you this. You know, all this, all this controversy with the, the female teachers and the uh, young male students. Well, what about a assistant principal coach that would do this? Um, wait till they graduate. Wait till they graduate. And at graduation night, graduation parties. That's when you swoop in. Start saying, hey, want to go out? Want to come over to my apartment? Sick. Sarah Jones received a phone call the day after graduation. <laughs> For example. So I know I got my facts straight. It's, and I, I, I think I got a pro, probably five or six girls that I know that ha, had that happen to them. Pretty smart. Like, well, I could get in trouble if they're here, but I'll wait till they graduate. Yeah, I was going to say. Pretty, that's pretty sick. Tactic if you're you like, use. In your 30s, you know. and you, What do you think of that, Keith Goller? That's a sick, sick thing. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. And, I, and, and I'm sorry, folks. I'm one, of these guys, I'm one of these people that admit my double standard. You know, young guy, older women, who gives a dang? But a 30-year-old preying upon high school kids? Creepy. 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 And by the way, I've, I've, I've said that publicly before, and I you know, guess what? I haven't been sued yet. <laughs> he swoops in for the kill. <laughs> January 2nd. I guess you support, you support that practice. Man. Yeah, absolutely, I yeah. do. And that's sick. And what are we going to do with him, Shannon? That's wrong, Garrett. That is You're so, wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's so wrong. Yeah, isn't that the worst when people live through? I'm sure you know a lot of these people in small town, you know, Simon Kenton, <laughs> that live vicariously through their high school students. Yeah. Like, love going to the games. Well, I want get to, involved. I, I agree and disagree a, about that. Stay out of your kids' lives. Let me, give an, let me give you an example. There are some people that are, it's kind of a little creepy the way, like, they never move on. And it's kind of sad. They never move on. High school's it. And, yeah. But at the same time, I don't have any problem with people being loyal to their high school and, and going to games and supporting them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Let me give you an example. Another thing that they've done terrible at Simon Kenton High School, thanks to those, those two, they've built up no alumni support. They have no – absolutely nothing. When I was there, I, I tried to do a little bit about I mean, You do it one year, and it's kind of like they're, they're not interested in it. I mean, they, they don't do anything – 
to encourage alumni, come back, you know, make you feel comfortable. I mean, you don't feel – I mean, I, 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 Keith, do you feel comfortable going back here? I have not been back since I graduated. Do, but, but you feel weird. I mean, I mean it's weird. It's, I mean, my son and all my kids went to school – by the way, my wife, I mean, she is like Simon Kenton royalty, cheerleader on the, the state championship team. Mary Zimmer, I mean, she's Simon Kenton royalty, okay? When I have kids that go there, she has kids that go there, and me and Mary Zimmer show up for a game – and you and and they make you feel freaking weird about just. I mean, it's that's messed up. And all the parents that I hung out with would say the exact same thing I'm saying. And I I guess that probably goes on in some other schools. But then you see places like this is why I got great respect. Elder Nation, are you kidding me? Yeah. Moeller Highlands. Talk about living in the past. Yeah, but I'm just saying. I mean, Elder. At least they build up the alumni. I mean, you know, they they welcome you back. They make you you know you're part of the tradition. Simon Kenton. Nothing. It's sad. Sad for the school. Sad for the kids. If they had a coach there that was uh, a grill coach and a you know, community guy and all that good stuff, it'd be a freaking powerhouse. Would never lose. It was a huge school. They got like fourteen hundred students now. They shouldn't lose to anybody in there around here. It should be Ryle and uh, Simon Kenton battling every year because of the size of their school. Huge. But it is sad. And I had, and you keep your mouth shut when your kid's going to school there. It's like, yeah. like, like uh, Parker always said that Steiner would be nice to him. Like, you know, if there was some kind of, you know, he, he would do that. But that, they, they do that to all the athletes, you know. And I, and I, I, express, I express gratitude for that to him. I say, well, yeah. thank you for looking out for Parker, you know. So I'm not trying to sound like an un- ingrate, but I know what that was all about. That was all about, you know, it wasn't about us. That was about, <laughs> you know. Well, they should cater to the athletes. I mean, that's a given. <laughs> Athletes are better than everybody else. Give them some of that booster. You're money. so bad. Yeah, booster money. Where's yeah. that at? Hey, can you imagine? That? What, how do you how do you tell the parents you're not allowed to have boosters or boosters money, and then you're telling your bosses over at the central office and administration that that's booster money? I know that that was said for a fact. Why would you do that? There's you know what? Odd. There's some people that might become refugees. You know, they might have to become refugees. They can listen to talk. It's the Bulldog on Class X Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury. Uh, well, I'm going to let Shannon. Shannon, you do your... Good guy. There's that many wrecks out there? Yeah. All right, give, give us, us a rundown. Reading. Give us the full report, Shannon. In, Half report. In Erlinger, they're a disabled vehicle on 7175 northbound. In Edgewood, an accident on Dudley Pike at Thomas Moore. In Hamilton County, an accident on Queen City Avenue at Sunset. In Cincinnati, an accident on the ramp to 71 northbound at Red Bank Expressway at 71. In Cincinnati, an accident on Spring Grove at Winton Road. An accident on Martin Luther King Drive at West McMillan Avenue. And in Edgewood, an accident on Dudley Pike at Madison Pike. Okie dokie. Uh, Shannon, where did you graduate from high school? Connor. Did uh, You told a story off the air, which you do not have to tell on the air, which was, which was uh, kind of sad when you first went there. Uh, do you feel like a Connor alumni kind of gal, or are you connected to the school still? Uh, kind of. I really didn't well, like good. Connor. You didn't? No. Well, I mean, let me just tell you. There's, there's. I, I think there's two kinds, two kinds of people. Like uh, I always like to say, there's people that like to stay connected to their school, and there's some that don't. Like for example, these people that go back and serve on boards. You know, I just, I've never. I just never was interested in that, like Thomas More, Latin School, Chase. I was just just not into that kind of thing. But I have to admit, um, I would want to feel like, heck, if you wanted to, you, you, it was comfortable doing it. And yeah. to be honest with you, I've had plenty of opportunities to do that at those schools. In other words, they never made me feel bad about it. I just chose not to. But it's kind of messed up when they make you feel kind of yucky about it. Yeah. Heck, I even, you know, here's, here's another thing. I even wrote a damn book. I even did a documentary about the state championship, and uh, they're kind of freaking weird about that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's just funny. Funny, funny, funny. And say it all at once. You shouldn't be uncomfortable in your hometown. No. Karen Lusk, move out of Wellston. Yeah, Wellston's not. Back up traffic, girl. It is for it's you. It's time to leave. Why don't you go to Logan? Have you have, you go to Logan. Have well, you, welcome. Go to rival Logan. Hey, have you ever seen anybody so down on their home little town and just stay there? I've told her, I says, Karen, uh, she, I, how do I change things? 
uh, leave <laughs> Wellston. <laughs> I think she likes the drama. Well, well, let me tell you, I said that to her because you know what? I said, I think that a lot of people, they say they want to change, they want to change, but they really don't. Yeah. I think you may be like that little small town where you're the center of the drama attention. You know? Loves it. Love Shannon it. would you like that if Shannon you know, was a big scandal and, surrounding and you know, scandal with me, though. And you know she's cute, so you can imagine little old Wellston, they're all probably, you know, after her. She probably likes that while denying that she does. Probably 16 teeth total up there, all the guys. Yep. After her. <laughs> yes. 16 teeth total throughout the whole county. I'm not. Yeah. Well, well, I just want everybody to know that this is Friday, and uh, we've already covered all the news, so. Uh, the hell with anything else in the news unless something – you got any news on your mind? Um, no. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the American jury, if uh, Sabrina does not get here soon, uh, the official photographer of Bulldog Nation is going to be fired. And uh, because we were supposed to have a poster presentation, of Shannon. Shannon, Shannon. Shannon went and got a picture taken in a bikini. And she wants to uh, place it on the walls here with the other. She wants to expose herself. <laughs> no. We, have we still decided so, whether it's worthy or not? And then what? Oh, it, and well, I don't know. I haven't seen it. Yeah, we'll, have to, we'll have to judge. We'll have to judge, have to, we'll have to, judge to see if it's and, worthy. And then uh, the other thing is, uh, just anybody's listening to the uh, big one, just let them know that uh, we're going to get a billboard and we're going to put Chuck Ingram's picture on the left side and we're going to put Shannon's post on the right side. And the caption contest we're going to have is what should be the caption that would uh, best reflect the two uh, contrasts. One of the things that I was thinking of is, who would you rather get your traffic from? You know? Yeah. That's simple. Who would you rather get your traffic from, Chuck or Shannon? Who would you rather sleep with? <laughs> right there. That's what we should write on the you on should the enter that. And the official, enter that in the, the official, you should enter the that contest. in the contest. Oh, this is going to be funny. <laughs> The big class X logo right there. Jeez. Oh, by the way, this is so funny. Speak, I shouldn't say this right after we were talking about Chuck Ingram and his and his weight, uh, but but Parker Parker was w- listening to Comedy Channel or something when we were eating. We don't have to get everybody to sit down and eat at the same time is pretty rare, and we don't have too many rules with that. You know, you want to go eat and learn. So we were eating, and Parker didn't want to eat yet, so he was in there watching. And I heard this comedian, and. Uh, I should have probably not say this because then I could have borrowed this and used it for myself, but it was hilarious. And what his stick, what, what, what he, he was closing the show and he closed the show with saying, have you ever thought how it is to have sex when you're out of shape and fat? <laughs> and he started making noise. like, uh, 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 that was so funny, man. <laughs> and he, I guess he was probably doing a demonstration. I was just hearing what he was doing. And then he talked, and then he talked about how the female genitalia should be an element on the uh, elements scientific table. Element. Yeah, scientific element. <laughs> and it was so funny. <laughs> God, it was funny. See, I pay attention to what's going on in my kids' lives. <laughs> what uh, I'm trying to think, Jake, who was the comedian that did the bit about fat people on the news when they do like an obesity segment? Oh, it's like he's got to know that's him. Yeah, because they only <laughs> show the Jim fat Gaffigan. ass yeah, from the yeah, waist down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, yeah, Jim like, Gaffigan. They blur his <laughs> yeah, he's like, but that guy knows it's him. Hey, we want he gets to the office the next day. Hey, Jim, saw your fat ass on the news last night. <laughs> and and folks, Aww. we we want you. We, <laughs> any, any of you that are overweight. We want you to know we're not picking on you because we're overweight too. Yeah, we are. But but uh, we're just having a little fun at your expense here. Okay. Uh, one of the th- one of the funny things it's like we were talking before we came on the air. Like uh, we, you, it, it's so funny how certain people you can make fun of, and it's okay. Like you can make fun of fat people. That's okay. Uh, you can make fun of Asians. You can go. Hang, 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 hang. Nobody says anything. Black uh, people but, but, get pissed. But, but if you say one thing, black okay, censored. Racist. Racist. They're racist. It is kind of funny. So, Take it easy, black so, people. So I just want to let you know, here on Class X Radio in the Morning Show, we prefer the Asians, because we're allowed to make fun of them, to the blacks, who are a little uptight. So uh, we Make just, fun we, of us! Yeah, but me, they make fun care. of white people that call us crackers. Yeah. They call us Honky. casters. Honkies. They talk about us not being able to jump. They talk yeah. about the size of our willy whackers. I mean, come on, man. Bunch of jerks. Yeah, we they take make fun it of us, and we. T- you know what? You can make fun of Catholics. You can make fun of the Irish. Yeah, but you can't make fun of blacks unless you're black. Double standards. It's just Some wrong. Sort of rule. Black man is suppressed. And by the way, I tried to buck that rule once. Don't buck that rule. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is a rule. 
that you don't break. <laughs> I meant to ask you, how do you conquer an African nation? Uh, with missiles, uh, with with uh, with bombs, just like any tanks, other country. Any other country with tanks and everything else. <laughs> And you know what? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. We're coming back. We're going to have some more fun and hopefully a poster revelation or Sabrina's fired. This is Van Halen. We're going to get you cranked up here on Friday because it's time to party all through the day, right? On Class X Radio. Listening. She always blames traffic. Yeah. Always blames traffic. According to our traffic girl, where'd she yeah, say oh, she was Park Hills. Park Hills. Where are we at? Are we looking in Park Hills there, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. see anything in Park yeah, Hills. Man, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sabrina. Oh. Sabrina, they got this oh, thing your... called the internet now, yeah. and what it does is show you traffic patterns. Not to mention the fact we thought you've been kind of cheating me out of uh, the work you've been doing, and we actually got a GPS underneath your car. <laughs> we track you wherever you go. Yeah. You're no, lying. You're, you're not in Park in. Hills. You're over in Campbell County. I can see her right here. West. She's in Campbell County. She's not telling you the truth. <laughs> she is sleeping in. I really made a mistake. I made the first uh, fa- uh, uh, husband-wife team I hired. Both Sabrina and her husband, Wes, both worked for me. It was a huge mistake. They, they disappear in the freaking middle of the day together. Mm. We don't know where they are. Stuff like that. A little nooner? He's getting it, a quick I don't nooner know. In. I don't know. I'm just out of hand, man. Yeah, I don't blame him. You know, Sabrina. Stupid enough to hire him. Sabrina both. sounds think just of? like Brittany Murphy, the actress. She kind of looks it, like her. She looks like her too. Do you believe she looks? We won't tell your age on the on the radio. She looks like she's eighteen. Have you ever seen her daughter? How old is she? She looks. The, her daughter does not look older than she is. Well, how would you think if she had like a seventeen or eighteen year old daughter? She has an eighteen year old daughter. Sixteen or eighteen. I mean, she's yeah, teenage. Are you daughter. kidding me? Teenage daughter. I seriously, I thought Sabrina was like 25. She, yeah, I, she, I, think she looks, I think she looks 22. But anyway. Maybe she's got that disease where like you look <laughs> real young forever. Yeah. Do you have Andy Milanakis? Do you, do, you have a, do you have a birthday you'd like to? Uh, Mom! Yes. Happy birthday happy to the great Terry Bowen. Should we sing happy birthday? Yes. To her? No. Happy birthday to you. Mom. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Garrett's mom. 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 Terry, mom. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to home. you. Thanks for breaking up the home. Thanks for breaking up the home, mom. <laughs> Love that lady. Hey, hey, you know what? You know. You got a great family when you can make a joke about a broken home. <laughs> I'll never yeah. And allow your buddies to do yeah. it with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do. Your dad's probably going to shoot us now. Love my mom. <laughs> now, let's talk about date. Have you got this uh, sushi date lined up? Yes. With uh, Traffic Girl Shannon? Shannon, what time are you picking me up? <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know that you're he is lucky? such this a is, gentleman. Hey, you're lucky sushi's free. Because I know. You, you better bring money with you. I know. Yeah, you're going to have to. Bring false money. You're going to have to leave a tip. Okay, so, <laughs> so she's going to pick you up at what time? Yeah, uh, let's say seven because this event with, uh, what is it, Stecklin, Jack Stecklin. Stecklin, good guy, Sushi called me yesterday. Sushi Cincinnati. Sushi Cincinnati. I got to go online and make our reservation. Really? Although we already said he, we, he oh, knew yeah. we were coming, so I don't right. know why I have to do that, but whatever. By Stecklin, the way, I'll, make, I'll give you a website. They came down from Dayton to do that, and they loved it. He said it's a good night. So here's what, all right, so we go to this like warehouse is the way he described it, and it's where they make all the sushi because it's not like a restaurant. Are there beds? There's beds, <laughs> and you slip a quarter into these beds, <laughs> and they start shaking real. Wow. Anyway, so go ahead. So it starts at 7.30. We go to this place, and then they, like, it's bring your own bottle. So you bring a bottle of wine. Get that, too. <laughs> you pick that up on the way over to pick me up. And uh, bring your own bottle of wine. Go in there. They give you a little lesson about sushi or whatever the hell. Oh, we're going to learn how to make it? And then we make it. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. So that'll be cool, and then we eat it. Cool. That's a good Yuck. date. Yuck. That sounds fun. I'm Why don't you like sushi? sushi? No, yeah, it'll be cool, so we'll roll it right there. Do you like sushi? Oh, I love sushi. Okay. Yeah. Big like sake? Sushi fan. Oh. Sake. Is that hey, that? Hey. I've never had it, I don't think. Hey, I want, I want to tell you something about the sushi thing, and I'm going to use this as an example about how hard it is to blend a family, okay? It's so funny <laughs> because I had three kids, Mary had three kids, and what's so funny is is that Partridge family. even at an early age, it's amazing how you have different likes, like, there were hockey, we were football. We aren't sushi. 
There's sushi. <laughs> we always have sushi. Sushi. Now my daughter Erica likes sushi, and Charlie Ann likes sushi. Maybe Parker likes. Maybe I'm the only one that doesn't like sushi in the family. And you how tried you, it. How do you eat raw fish? It's Yuck. Delicious. No, it's not. <laughs> Oh, it is good. It doesn't have to be raw. You can get cooked sushi. Yeah. Although, you know, I started that Mediterranean di- diet. Medita- Mediterranean. Mediterranean diet. Mediterranean. <laughs> Mediterranean diet. So I had fish one night, and then I gave the diet up. But the fish, <laughs> I undercooked it and then got sick. Oh, so my God. So that kind of raw fish That's is not good. No. Not good. I need Shannon to start taking over the cooking. Dude. Mm-hmm. I, can cook. I can grill. Uh, have you swapped okay. keys yet to like each other's places? Yeah, yeah, have I've got a, I got actually Shannon. It's on my keychain. She, t- she's got a toothbrush at my house. Hey, <laughs> now, hey, I've known drawer. Believe that. <laughs> own drawer. What do you think about the idea, Shannon, that as your uh, relationship evolves each day on the show, <laughs> you guys will report about like what you did the night before, like what television shows. Right. Yeah. You know, if you got in a fight. I don't think that'll cause any problems at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were going to watch basketball. <laughs> A We're going to watch basketball, and I'm going to drive him around and cook for him and pay for the <laughs> That's right. Sounds about this right. A great relationship. <laughs> Let me tell you, Shannon, uh, I, you know I don't pay you to do this. You're going to have to find somebody that pays you because you're going to have to make more money to date this guy. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm not cheap. I mean, you're going to have to. Like uh, I said the other day, I'm not a piece of meat, Shannon. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not good. I'm up here. My eyes are up here. <laughs> My eyes are up. I'm here. looking forward to this, Shannon. Oh, God. Yeah. It'll be a have good to time. Drink a well, little bit before. The fall, I, <laughs> no, I, I, just, I want everybody to know that I. Meet at a bar. Let's meet at a bar beforehand. I really yeah. do pay or attention. I'll pick you up. Maybe we'll make this. And, and, if, you, and if, you're just, if, <laughs> if you're just tuning in, uh, I do pick all the music myself. And oh, by the way, we have Abby calling in. She's going to talk about the Stone Temple Pilots. I got to explain to her what we do. See, I don't think she gets what we do. She like, doesn't. Like she calls up, and, like she tries to be serious about something, and we give her a hard time. I think she doesn't get radio. I'm gonna rip her a new. One. I'm okay, calling but, next Friday from New okay, York. Okay, but anyway, but anyway, what I was going to tell you is, I picked this song especially for the date of Garrett. And Shannon. Hold on. I don't know what you're talking about because I don't Eddie. think I gave it. Yeah, Addy. Right. You're going to mess yeah, this yeah, up. No, like no, 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 no. no. Here we go again. Two days in a row. Is it this one? You better. There we go. This is Eddie Money. <laughs> two tickets to paradise for Jake. Excuse me. Garrett. <laughs> and Shannon's date. And I come back. I got another song for the poster revelation on Class X Radio. Uh, Sabrina is claiming she's in the parking lot. Uh <laughs> She feared the firing from the console. Yeah. So she hey, got her ass here. Hey, now, when we play the song for the revelation of the poster, will you promise not to hit the wrong Les Miserables song? See, you're not even going to hit Les Miserables. You still have the wrong Les Miserables song. I think we do. We might need the, the bar song. It's funny. That's what we need right now. It's the funny song. Yeah, Chuck, text Jake what the bar song is. Yeah, not the wrong one, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chuck. Fire his ass. And you know what? It was Chuck's fault. Chuck's fault. Yesterday. Absolutely it was. He's lucky he's the underboss in Pax Heat. Do we know what the bar song is called? Huh? Do we know what the bar song is called? Uh, Chuck texted to me yesterday. Chuck, text it to me again. That was the wrong one, remember? That's yeah. what led to all the confusion. Yeah. Let's huh. go to news. When we come back, we, we're going to have uh, Abby from uh, New York, and we're going to have a poster revelation. We're going to pack a lot in 30 minutes on Class X Radio. Class X. This is the Boot Dog on Class X Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, the American juries. Abby called in. Do we have a red hotline yet? All right. Well, uh, well, she'll text me if she uh, calls in. Well, we're not going to wait. We'll get her. Uh, Keith, intern, you're going to have a job. You watch that light to see if there's a red light calling on the phone there, buddy. Can you do that for us? I can do it. You can walk in front of the camera. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, the American jury, screw traffic. Uh, we are going to do a presentation now, and we're going to let, uh, I thought, well, you're videotaping. You can't do it, can you, if you're holding a videotape. You get to do it, Garrett. you got to come over here, Garrett. We got to go. Oh, we got to go. We got to go. Abby's gone. Abby's gone. Abby's gone. Abby's gone. Abby's gone. Hello? 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 <laughs> Abby! No, she didn't. She's there. You just hung up. No, she hung up. It was a dial tone. Man, our, our New York, our New York uh, gal. Call back, Abby. She's listening. Okay. Well, you, wanna, you want to um, do the poster presentation. Oh, there she is! Oh, there she is! 
Classic Studio. Classic. I'll, 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 I'll report hey, what Karen said. Hey, Avril, he's saying, how are you? Hello, Avril. He said, hello. And, All right. Uh, okay, he's putting her on hold. He's putting yeah, I her on hold. I know, I know, I know. You know, you know miss, hold on, all right. Okay, we're getting technical difficulties. And air. she's, she's going to come on the air I mean, any minute now. Go. Yes, Abby, how are you? Oh, God, I called three times and nobody answered. Uh, you didn't oh. feel it. Well, I tell you, we're getting a little excited uh, here. You called the wrong number. We got a special That's presentation. Fault. But anyway, Abby, give us a full report on whatever you want. We, we probably really don't care what you're going to report about, but go ahead anyway. <laughs> Have you guys heard of the band Stone Temple Pilots before? Oh, big fans. Interstate big fans. love song. Yeah, big go fans. for it. Big fans. Well, last night there was a report that their lead singer, Scott Weiland, was fired from the band. And then it was going to be this big report that I called in today. We were going to talk about how you found a band and then you're released from the band. And how could anybody ever do that? And then I wake up this morning and it's all a lie. Apparently, now he's saying that it was just a publicity stunt to boost ticket sales. I'm not thinking that that's going to boost any ticket sales. What about you guys? Well, I can tell you this. We reported that two days ago, but we did not know it was a hoax. But I want to tell you right now, if that's the way they're going to play ball, I'm going home right after the show. I'm canceling all of my appointments, and I'm going to burn all of my Stone Temple pipe uh, st- <laughs> Stone Temple albums. Pilots. Pilots. Yeah. I'm going to burn every one of them. What are you going to do, Gary? I mean... I'm going to burn I'm my okay T-shirts. i these guys being t-shirts. a little wasted every once in a while and getting up on stage and making a fool out of themselves. But don't take us for that ride with you guys. Hey, we have, a more, we have a more important question for you, uh, Abby. We reported today that the city with the most billionaires in this world is Moscow with 76 billionaires in New York has 74 billionaires, New York City. And we want you to know if whether or not you have billionaires... What the hell that was you, that, Abby? That you, can fix, ...that you can fix Jake up with, Keith up with, my... Is there female and male billionaires? Wouldn't it be awesome if some, so some of the billionaires that were reported were, are female? Well, that's what, we, that's what we want to know. Oh, let me find out. I'll do some research, and then we can start a dating... We can start some dates happening. Yes, let's do that. I can tell you right now. That dating website for billionaires only. <laughs> my, my, my son and stepson, I can tell you right now, they, they don't care about brains. They just care about rich and okay. cute. <laughs> all right, well, that's good. That's good, yeah. It, they're probably all married anyway, but they can have an affair with your kids. Well, don't billionaires saying, always... Don't, you don't, out a little bit. Yeah, don't billionaires always have affairs anyway? Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, make it happen. Uh, I'm making on that right now. Abby, what are you going to be doing next? I know you were down in New Orleans. What kind of projects you you're working on? I'm back in the, the in New York City on the Concrete Mumble. I'm uh, talking to Discovery about a show. I'm talking to Bravo about a show. Well, no, you know, the life of a millionaire that I am. I just kind of wait to see which projects I like, and I just pick and choose. For now, I'm just listening to you guys three hours in the morning and going spinning. Do you do you like our show? I love your show. That's why I promote it to everybody that I know. I'm getting you guys some listeners here in New York City. Well, that's good. Appreciate now, that, Avril. Abby, <laughs> Abby, <laughs> you have a great week, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend. All right. Ladies we should and fire her. No, she's my agent. We can't fire her. <laughs> Jeez, hope you can't fire my agent. Uh, let me see what time. We got time for the poster presentation. Yeah, is this what we do the Les Mis song to? No. No? Come on, let's come. Pre- Will you get off your butt and come over here and present the poster? I can present from here. Can okay, I? you can present from there. <laughs> this is the poster. Drum roll. You got a drum roll on your button there? Can you do a drum roll? Uh, Garrett Sable House is. I would do a play-by-play for those, for those people that uh, aren't watching. Uh, he's he's taking the poster out Whoa! of the plastic bag, oh! and she's revealed. Shannon and a is that oh, leopard? Oh, I like it. Is that leopard? Like is that a it. leopard? No, it's not what leopard. What do we got here? Sabrina, did you take that photograph? Is it all over the internet yet? Well, that'll look great right next to Chuck Ingram's picture on that billboard at Bill Spry. Actually, Bill Spry loves this idea so much, he's buying 10 billboards across the tri-state. We're going to make you famous, <laughs> crappy girl. We're gonna, eh, oh, by the way, don't you, love, right. hey, don't you love that T-shirt that Chad and Jake, I mean, Chad and uh, Chuck still haven't brought yeah. to you? Hang it up, Jake. Wait, I want to sign it first. 
Oh, she oh. gets to <laughs> sign it. Sign it? Oh, yeah. I, I love, love it. it. Oh, for God. I love it. <laughs> she saw that Mary Z signed hers. And so she Sarah went, did. Sarah signed hers, too? Yeah. Well, you need a Sharpie? Here's a red Sharpie. You need a red Sharpie? Here we go. Thanks. Don't, oh don't devalue it. <laughs> don't devalue it. Yeah. Hey. Are you going to get a poster for your bedroom, Gary? Yeah, hey, Shane, can I have a copy? Yeah, I want date. one for my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> How hey, self-centered hey, of you. Hey, you know what? You know, we ought to sell these. Make some yeah. money for the, for you, the morning show. You know, the hillbilly we'll donate, listeners, we got them. And, buy we'll, them. And, and we will donate it to veterans, okay. old ladies. Ready to go. And uh, disabled kids. What? What? Huh? Oh, by the way, guess what, Sabrina? She brings a poster and doesn't bring her camera. Aren't you a photographer? Oh, jeez, old Pete, man. I tell you right now. Thing's supposed to be attached to you. The official photographer of Bulldog Nation. I love it, Sabrina. Misses this Thank event. You. Misses this event. I cannot believe it. So we captured that all on video, so everybody sees it? Going all right. Now, um, how long is this next song? Uh, what do we play? Mm. Let's see what we got here. You got it. It's the Jay Giles, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Huh? It's uh, not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Well, we got to make sure it's ready, ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury. We come back in this final segment uh, after this song. We'll wrap this show up. This is a special song for the uh, poster. This is Jay Giles Band on Class X Radio. This is the Bulldog on Class X Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, American Drink. Gosh, we did a lot in that segment, didn't we? My goodness was gracious. Action-packed. Well, it's autographed, it's hung. And uh, Shannon, we didn't do a traffic report it. that time, so can we do a traffic report this time? In Edgewood, there is an accident on Dudley Pike at Madison Pike. In Hamilton County, an accident on Queen Sydney Avenue at Sunset. In Cincinnati, an accident on the ramp to 71 northbound at Red Bank Expressway. An accident on Spring Grove Avenue at Witten Road. An accident on Columbia Parkway at Delta Avenue. An accident on Witten Road at Way Cross Road. An accident on Martin Luther King Drive at West McMillan Street. And, Street. and in Hamilton County, an accident on Hamilton Avenue at Kemper Road. That's right. If you can't say it, just go ahead and mumble through it. Right, Shannon? <laughs> Is that and McMillan? It's, it's actually Queen City Avenue, not Shannon, Queen. Shannon, I do that all the time. Whatever you said. I'll be standing in front of a jury and talking about, like, it'll be a medical malpractice case, and it'll be, like, some big fancy word or something. And I'll say, my, uh, the doctor prescribed, blah, 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 blah. And uh, it worked. <laughs> Chances are nobody else knows what the hell they, what are, uh. What are you yawning about? Tired. Stayed out late drinking last night. You got a problem with it? Do you have to go to Coke? Yeah. Off the Coke? I sell some Coke. All right. What do we got, Paul? We got plans this weekend? All right, here, what are you up to? Here is, here is my plans this weekend. I am meeting, uh, uh, let me see. I got to say this right now. Chuck showed me how to do it. You say a boob and a car, and that's how you say his first name. Abubakar Durrani. Dr. Abubakar Durrani. I, I will be meeting with uh, more people that he is just terribly, terribly uh, hurt on Saturday and Sunday mornings. And other than that, I think there's no plans, which means... Great weekend. Nice. Of relaxation. You going to see any movies? What are you, uh, are you yeah, going? we'll see a movie sometime. Going Friday out? night. Now, what about you, Shannon? I'm working this weekend. I don't really know what's in store for me for Saturday night. And what oh. about you? <laughs> oh, the big date's next Saturday, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you going to be off work? Hope you guys don't what? break up before next Saturday. Or am I going to have to ask Melody C. Moon? <laughs> for sushi? I yeah. get off at 630. Well, so it be should be. And I'll be in Anderson. But you don't like so, Garrett, so Garrett, uh, what are you doing? Besides watching UC Bearcats lose again. Yeah, <laughs> tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock, I'll be down there at uh, Fifth Third. Got an extra ticket. Who do they Sham, play? Sham. At 2 o'clock, yeah. I have to work. Damn. Play Jake? UConn. UConn, who smoked our ass about two weeks ago. What about you, Jake? You going to go pet some zoo animals, play with the hippos? We've got in? a big hockey game at 4 on uh, Saturday. Ooh. Really? We win our first game. It's a tournament. We win our first game. Uh, we get a seed to state, so it's a big game. Ooh. What What league is this? It's like a, a high school club league. It's kind of confusing. Jake, See, if, if you go to the in finals. Other, in, other words, in other words, nobody reports it in the news. Nobody no, knows everybody. you guys are even playing. Nobody everybody. gives a yeah. damn. It's like being a Z-list celebrity like me. It's yeah. kind of like my celebrity status yeah. hockey. I exactly. got it. Wait, if, Jake, if you make it to the state finals... 
Shannon and I will come up for the game. Okay. <laughs> do you do you get a trophy? You get a ring. A ring. Where is wow. the state finals? Wow. I don't know. I imagine it's in Cleveland. Oh, never mind. I would I'm think it's Cleveland. in Cleveland. God, why would you want to play hockey in Cleveland? Hey, I'm not driving all the way up there. Is it pond hockey? Hey, let's not let him. Let's, tonsil hockey. Tonsil? Let's 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 not mm-hmm. let him. Let's not let him feel left out. Intern Keith, our failed Joe Dirt. What do you got going on? <laughs> it's what are you doing this off? weekend? Work all weekends. So That's okay. enough, Keith. Thanks. For, uh, <laughs> thanks for letting us know. Hey, uh, ph- photographer. <laughs> Kidding, Doc Keith. What are you doing he, this weekend? He's working at Staples. That's where he goes. Hey, if you need some pens, some rulers, some post-its. filler paper, some post-its, maybe some rubber bands or paper clips, you you fix them up, won't yeah, you? There, come Keith. Come see me. Come see me. <laughs> Stap- give you my card. Staples. 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 Staples at Florence. Florence, Kentucky. And now, uh, Sabrina, would you, could you go with the microphone, please? Come on, get the microphone. Come it. on, come on, Sabrina. Come, come on, on Sabs. Right All right. You, did you hear me say that I think I made a mistake hiring my first uh, husband-wife team? I didn't mean it. I was just teasing. What are you and Wes going to do this weekend? I oh, know we get paid today, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh my God. God. Oh. So I could do whatever yeah. I want. I give, her, I give her I give her an opportunity to say something, and she brings and up she being just paid. wants to get paid. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're fired, we Sabrina. Now why, without stressing. now, why is your, why is your, uh, every time you come in here, you always get stuck in traffic. What, what's wrong with that? What's going on? You are you really in traffic? Seven o'clock. I left at seven. Where do you live? Falmouth. You're I, full I of it. Get, There's I no traffic coming from. Bus, and when I probably until. The big question is why would you live in Falmouth? I don't know. <laughs> yesterday I was really stressed because our in- for some reason, they dropped us on internet and said that it's overload that they can't take us. That there's too many. So well, that's I good. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, what Saturday are you talking? Will you turn her microphone off? I just want to know what the heck she's doing. Yeah. She's talking about You're inside. Done. Now we're getting what the dropped heck? on you. You know what you do? Radio. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for ruining our show. We, your, your microphone's off. Oh so yeah, you can yeah. Talk. Sorry. Jeez, yeah. You people. know what? How you figure fix that? You pay your bills. She almost ruined her. She almost you ruined. Pay your uh, yeah, cable and internet bill. If you pay the bill, you don't get turned off. Like, for example, like our studio cameras here. <laughs> like our TVs. <laughs> uh, uh, let me tell you, I'll let you guys on the inside joke. Uh, I thought it was really cool to get four televisions in here, cable, you know. You know, we get one on Fox News, one on CNN, one on local, one on ESPN. Uh, you know how much that freaking costs a month? <laughs> I said, uh, no, thank you. Yeah. You know what, though? If we get rich, that, may make, that can be our goal. Let's take up money from her poster sales and yeah. donate them to Latonia Baptist Church. I wonder if, if, if Dan would take money from don- uh, poster sales and to turn our cable back on. Let's do cable back on. Heck with the Latonia don't, Baptist yeah, Church. Don't, don't yeah, don't don't. I don't think we're going to donate. We're going to sell your. We're going to sell your posters to make money to get our cable turned back on. Okay. Thank you. Shannon thinks that, hey, that Shannon, poster is her, being a team player. <laughs> her two tickets to paradise hey, hey, right hey, there. All I got to say was. One for me, one for She her. wanted one in her bedroom. I'm thinking, hmm, that's a little weird. You know, I don't have any. I did not. I don't have any photographs of myself, for example, anywhere in my office. I was going to say, I'm not going to plant my picture up on the wall. I, I like it. Why can't I have it in my room? You're conceited. <laughs> I like it. Oh, by the way, I almost Get forgot. The out of by here. the way, we get to wish happy birthday to Brian. I almost forgot Brian's birthday. Amy Givens. Uh, asked me to do it and i almost forgot almost forgot happy birthday brian and we also want to wish my wife's best friend susan witson it's her birthday as well i'm just going down through here to see if there's any special happy birthday sus or anything uh somebody want to remind me that you pronounce it a boob a car yep it's a pretty nice way to pronounce a boob a a car car. that's dr durani's first name that's how you pronounce it a boob a car durani like boobs, the butcher cars, from Pakistan. Booba car. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury, I hope you have a great weekend. This was a week of radio superbity. We'll be back again, of course, on Monday. Until then, every dog has their day. I hope today is yours on Class X Radio.